Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna to look at how to build one of these super smart camera devices. Why is it super smart? It has a infrared camera in it with two LED lights and a Raspberry Pi Model 3. Boom. Um, what else does it have? So it has like three 3D printed parts. Um, so it's the stand. Um, we also have the front cover with the hood which protects the camera. And we also have the back plate. And in here, there's the Raspberry Pi. It's positioned like this. And then we also have um, the camera looking out the front as you've already seen, like this right here. And we're gonna look at um, how we, we're gonna 3D model it, um, how we can slice it to get it to 3D print. Then of course, 3D print it and then we will assemble it together and see how it works all together. All right, um, why am I building this device? Um, I want to do have a camera which I can position in my driveway to monitor all the cars coming and going. So I need a super smart device. I want to do it right there at my road. I don't want to send it to my server, the data, the video footage and um, evaluate it there. I want to evaluate it at the edge on the camera and only send the license plate that I read to my server. So that's the whole concept. That's why I'm building this. If you want to know more about the project, hit the red button to subscribe. All right, let's get started. Let's look at the CID design, how it was made. So this is the front cover that we see right here. Um, I used a software called Inventor Pro. Um, it's a software provided by Autodesk. It is pretty advanced. You can pretty much do anything you can think of with your brain. Um, you can 3D model in here, so that's pretty cool. I can only suggest it. Um, now to the model, how I designed it. So you can see here, this is the thing. It has like the three cutouts right here for the IR. LEDs uh, for the camera in the center, four holes for mounting stuff and other holes for mounting the brackets and a little hood to protect it from sun and a little bit of rain. Right, that's about it. So how did I go about it? Now um, let's go back to the beginning. So how I started is I started modeling the components that I will place inside uh, the the casing so that would be the um, camera camera component which I bought off of AliExpress pretty cool pretty cheap does the job well um, then we have the Raspberry Pi here and I already aligned them a little bit so we have like some spacing here in between for the cables and yeah aligned it a little bit so it looks kind of nice um, then I started adding here a front plate, pretty straightforward, um, put some holes in it. So we have the holes for the camera, but let's get more to the interesting part. So I also created here the hood and the holes, all that stuff. And what maybe is interesting is are these feet right here. So these feet have a little hole in them. They make sure like the, the Raspberry Pi has the correct distance to the, the casing and also can be securely mounted with screws, two millimeter screws, which can be uh, screwed in right here from this side, right? And then of course, a couple of USB and power to power the device. And um, last but not least, we also have to create the mount for uh, mounting the back plate. So this is one thing, this is, this, this is like the stopper. So once you slide in the back cover, um, it should stop at that point. So you know how far you, you should push in your back plate. And then there are also these holes to side. It's the same hole size as here. Um, so it's two millimeter screws, which can be screwed in to fasten the back plate to, um, the front cover right so that's about it to the back plate design it's not fully waterproof yet that's one of the next things I would like to do but I've not yet done yet 
but that will may probably be version four. This is version three. And let's quickly look at the other part. So this is pretty straightforward. It's just the back plate. And we're looking at the GoPro mount version. I will also post this one, but you will also have the regular one posted down in the description below links to those. And um, I also created one of these things during development. I noticed like it's a lot easier if I can put it on this thing on my desktop, on my desk um, to for development purposes, right? But I will need to design something different once I put it out on the field, maybe mount it to a pole or something like that, right? Um, so the other two parts are pretty easy to print. What I wanna quickly look at is how to print this thing. So I have already exported the file. So let's go to my 3D models. Right, this is gonna be 3.5. Front cover, oh, there it is. So while printing, I noticed a couple of things. So supports are super important. Um, and I suggest printing it facing up. I started printing it facing down, but then I got like really, like this lower plate down here looked really bad. So I really suggest um, printing it like this. It's gonna be a bigger hassle to get rid of the supports, but it's gonna result in a much better result. So I suggest that. All right. Let's put it like this, nice and center. I printed it with 0.2 millimeter layer height. That worked out pretty fine for me. Um, just make sure I forgot my very first print. I forgot the support, so just make sure that is checked and let's see how long this takes to print oh, all right nine hours and 12 minutes that's that's okay that's all right um i usually like to do a quick layer view check and just to make sure the supports are there where i think they should be and yeah it looks pretty fine all right let's set, save it to desktop all right then over to the next up is 3D printing, I guess. See you there. All right, now we save the device to the file. So let's pop it out. Let's go print it over there in the 3D printer. All right. All right, where is it? There it is, front cover V3.5, send it. Let's wait till it finishes printing. Yay! All right, let's get this thing out of here. Looking good. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you thought it was interesting and want to know more about how this device will evolve in the future, how I write its software, how you can maybe use its software, then hit the subscribe button. Maybe you want to like it. I don't know. Up to you. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.